Okay, fellas, I spoke to you both in the dressing rooms. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to the baby. And so, heavyweight history awaits. Will Hooney or Goodall win through to take on the world? Can't wait for this. Round number one. Justice Sooney and Joseph Goodall. It's Ben Damon and the great Jeff Venick in commentary here in Brisbane, live on main event. And we expect a fast start from Goodall. Hooney happy to move and Goodall comes towards and sticks out his jab and Hooney comes back and throws to the body. Beautiful overhand right by Hooney just outside the jab and over the right hand. And a great right hand to the body as well from Justice soon in the early stages of this opening round. He's fighting fire with fire in the early stages and Goodall throws out that jab. Counter right hand over the top doubling up the jab and to the body again goes Justice soon. Double jab from Goodall. Up the right same. hand behind that double jab, Ben. Here it is. The right hand's going to come over the top as well. Body shot from Justice Uni's a beauty. Big left rip to the body got through. And a concentration of body attack early in this one from Hooney. Probably not what we expected, but he's digging into that body of Goodall, who now wrestles his way free. And back at his punching range. We see that overhand right from Goodall. We saw him warming up. He looks to throw it. He searched for it there. That's what Goodall's got to do. Goodall's got to push him backwards. Every opportunity. He's got to clinch. Push him backwards and punch while he's going backwards. He can't sit there with Hooney. Hooney's skill level is so far, far superior. There's another beautiful left hand of the body from the beach. Oh, big right hand over the top. And now they go to work, the pair of Goodall came back with a beautiful right hand as well. He got hit with a right hand, but he came back with a big one. Outstanding stuff from these two quality heavyweights. A big right hand from Justice Uni over the top, and Goodall wore it well and came back with interest. Good jabs there from Hooney. Goodall's here at range. Throws that right hand and misses, and he's counted with a body shot again. Doubling up the jab there is Goodall, but he just finishes over the top with 15 seconds left in the opening round of this one. From Goodall. Goodall's just overstepping with his with his jab because he's taking away his right hand. When he steps in, his right hand's gone. He's got to just land the jab, just touch the jab and put your right hand at the end of it. He's overstepping. Tense opening round of this one. Very, very happy. I just need you to work on that, mate. Keep, keep upping, upping. Here's the right hand we saw from Justice Hooney. Oh, it was a beauty. He bowled it over. He came back with a second one straight after two. And Goodall came back with his own as well. Are you seeing when he hit? Uh, you saw when he threw, you threw, and it landed. That's the key for us. We punch, yep. Him, yep. we punch when he punches. Well, there you go. They're searching for the overhand right. They were warming it up in the dressing rooms, and clearly it's the punch they believe can win them the fight. Well, Kevin Barry just said the punch when he punches, which is really, really important. But he has to be in the right position to punch Ben. He's overstepping with his jab, and then what, what, when he oversteps with the jab, there's no other punch he can throw. And he punches a lot, as Justice Hooney. Puts them together nicely and reaches out to the body. And here we are at Goodall range. What has he got for us? That's what he shot. That's what I spoke of. Out of shots of beauty as well from Hooney. Great stuff from Goodall. Hooney came back. 
it. It's all to work from here. Be interesting to see if they do. Little tries to get clear and throws that left hand. And they hang on one side. They both go to the body. So working in the clinch, these two heavyweights. Good shot there from Joseph Goodall. Led with his hook and got through. Body shots from Hooney. And lightning shots from Hooney and they get through as well. Uppercut from Goodall, but Hooney moves with it. Over the top goes Goodall. Body shots again from Justice Hooney. And they're clinching again and working from here. Goodall gets free. If Goodall's going to punch up the middle, he's got to bring that back foot up, up, up close to the front foot. Body shot again from Justice Hooney, and Goodall fires back with his right hand on the inside. Break! Step back. Step back. High quality stuff. Oh! Combination punching from Hooney. The right hand finished over the top and Goodall came back hard. And there's the left rip to the body again from Hooney. The reason why he came back then because there was no power in it. Oh, look at that. Hooney's leading some big punches. It's hurting Goodall. Time that right hand beautifully did Hooney. But you're right. Joe Goodall not concerned by the shots and continuing to press forward and counter every time. <laughs> Uppercuts of beauty from Hooney. Uppercut from Goodall. Right hand from Hooney. He doubles it up. The tangle and they're told to work, but now they break. Now with 10 seconds left in round two. Oh, nice, Jeff. Oh, nice. Counter right hand from Hooney. Squared up Joe Goodall late in the rounds. Yeah, again, Ben, he hit him with a beautiful right hand, but it didn't hurt him. I'm not saying that four or five um, rounds down, they might start hurting him, but they're not hurting him at the moment. You have to be first, okay? Give me a few more feints for this round, okay? I need your head moving a little bit, okay? When you are in close shots, you got stay it. fucking focused. Stay focused. Short shots. You try to move. Try to move to the side. I don't want you stepping out straight. But that's when he's coming back with the counters. Got it. Yep. Okay. Feel all right. Yep, yep. Very good, mate. Very happy. Just keep up and keep up and every round, mate. Just keep pushing it, mate. Okay. You're fitter. You're stronger. You're faster. All right. He can't keep up your skills, mate. And the stats tell us what we know. It's the body assault of Justice Hooney that is doing damage in the early stages of this fight against Joe Goodall. And they will slowly wear down your opponent, especially as heavyweights. He always works the body well, but it's clearly a plan in this fight with Joe Goodall to try and break him down as he goes downstairs with the left hand and finishes over the top. Supremely tough and a big punch up, and he leads the action there. He goes one, two. Hooney to the body. Goodall is the tries to work with his free hand now. Uppercut on the inside from Justice Hooney. They wrestle and they work. This week Goodall's got to be first. One, two, straight away. If he wants to try to upset Hooney. Every time we let Hooney be first, it's, it's dangerous. There we go. There we go. Big shots. Those fast hands of Hooney. His combination punching is beautiful, Hooney. And there he gets through with another shot. He's gone. He's gone. Big right hand from Justice Hooney. It just skidded through, but the intent was there, and he gets back on his jab. That one moves us over the top. Jab was perfect and the right hand just missed and Justice Hooney is showing his quality here in the third round. But he can't find him there. He goes one, two, three and misses. He 
love that overhand right now with Joe Goodall because Hooney is growing in confidence. Pulls, pulls, pulls. 40 shots and finishing with a left hand over the top as well. Hooney and one, two goes Hooney. And the thing is, Ben Justice won't stop. He's very fit out. Nice double jab there. Come on, he's got to get that hand out of there. He's got to get him out and work. He's letting Justice tie him up. Chasing and throwing is Justice Hooney. Corner of Joe Goodall. Want him to lead the action. Great! But he is waiting just at times here for Hooney. Oh. One, two, three, and he's away. Great movement from Hooney. Oh, Throws that right hand just short. And Goodall digs in with the right hand of his own, but misses. Late in round three we are. They tangle again and they work on the inside. That's every round of the to our, our mate in the, in the blue corner. The Justice Tooney has not lost a round. That was his best yet. He moved beautifully. He threw the full kit of punches. I think all you've got to do is walk him down. He got hit a lot less than that round as well. Get him a few chances there. Could it be that Goodall's getting a little tired from a body attack? Really good How do you feel? How do you feel? Feel good? That's it, mate. They are lethal shots to the body from Justice Hooney. Joe Goodall, good moments. He's still in this fight, but he needs something big. Yeah, well, he needs to throw a right hand that's going to hurt his opponent. He needs to hurt him. I know you're thinking about let that right hand go. It's there for you. Let's go, Joe. Come on. Well, that's what I wanted to hear. Let the right hand go. That's what he needs to throw. But he needs to be at the right distance to throw it. The other thing as well is that he's wearing left rips to the body and he's trying to protect himself from those. And they're brutal shots. So that's dissuading him out of that big overhand right that he's been looking for. And there's more of them from Hooney. The left rip to the body is a key punch for him. And that one he turns upstairs and now he doubles it up. And he goes one, two. And he punches well and he uppercuts as well, but it just misses. That's the thing about Hooney. He hits you twice, he'll hit you four more times. He won't stop. Break! Break! Break. Tidy it up, fellas. Box. Springing around is Hooney. Exchange uppercuts. He's trying to work in there, but he does need more. I think that hand gets through. I think that uppercut done a little bit of damage. Really felt it. Good work from Joe Goodall in tight, digging deep, working hard is Goodall. The crowd getting behind this fight. Break! Step back. Step back. The jabbing is good. And he's counted hard. They try and work here. What a pace for two heavyweights. A great pace. Yeah, nice turn there by Justice Hooney. Throws a beautiful right uppercut in close. Get your heads out of it, both of you. It is a frantic pace, this one. And we've got a minute remaining in round number four. Both of them digging deep already. For heavyweight, this is a, 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 a crazy pace. And they wrestle here against the ropes, and Goodall that he's trying to work on the inside, but the combination comes from Hooney. And he turns that left hand around, and he throws his big right hand over the top. Goodall tries to hang on. He tries to work to the body of Hooney. Right! Step back, step back. 
Shot misses, but then he connects to Hooney. Beautiful overhand right there by Hooney. Jeez, he's repositioned well to throw it a second time after missing. Justice Hooney, his movement is exceptional tonight. Goodall's got to use that free right hand as he holds with the left and locked in there. Just use that right hand as an uppercut. Throw some punches. Put some power in them. Use your weight. I think the body shots can speak to a bit of that. The energy being sapped from him. There was a little touch at the end of that round where I seen Goodall give him a little pat and say as if it was a good round. I don't like that, Ben. Can you see it? Don't get, don't get, don't get killers, Joe. There's damage underneath that eye of Justice Hooney. Not a concerning position for him. But that oh, there's an uppercut. is the shot that did it. You've got to give, I mean, you've got to give Hooney so much credit. I mean, I know he, right, we, we say he doesn't punch hard, but geez, he throws a lot of punches. Oh. And he does it every round. Or is there a little nick over the eye as well? I think there might be for Justice Ernie. The more pronounced, certainly underneath, but maybe just a little cut there above the eye of Ernie. We'll see what part that has to play. It's an energised Joe Goodall who comes out here in round number five. Sits down and throws big shots. Yeah, and works with his right hand there. He's got, a, he's got that free hand. He's got to work up the middle, up the middle. Use that uppercut. Waiting too long there, Joe. Got a punch. You've got to punch and punch him. Body shots again from Goodall. Justice Hooney scored with the big ones, though. Yeah, such a great eye. Just sat there on those ropes, made Goodall miss, or rode his punch and punched with him. Great skill to see. No, nice right hand by Goodall. That's what he has to do. Go in with the right hand and finish that left hook. They tangle again here against these ropes. It's told to work. Goodall with a free hand and he tries to finish over the top and Returny just leaning on the ropes. Nice up the there by Goodall. Missed with a big right hand. Comes back to the little left hook. They tangle there and the heads came together and Joe Goodall didn't like it. And working in tight, but they're clear again. And a left hand from Hooney gets out after Goodall led the action. And there's a left hook from Hooney again. And that big right hand from Joe Goodall just missed. Yeah, but he was counter punch with the right hand by Hooney on the way in. Joe Goodall to work. Oh, around the edges, but it's up the middle that Hooney goes. Chasing is Hooney. Upper right. just misses from Hooney. They tangle again. Yeah, if Goodall goes backwards, Hooney loves that. He's going to go forward, oh make that couple of jabs, miss, he's got a counter punch. In bunches, with power. He's got to hurt Justice. Big shot there. Just cuffed around from Hooney. Little road with it. And we're halfway through this one. Five rounds down. Five rounds down and five rounds to Hooney. Now there is a little cut. Above the eye of Hooney. Suck it in, 
just need you to get down. Get down, hold, and say, bam, bam, body, and work your way up. Okay? Just be careful. Be, bam, 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 shuffle, and then again, come back. Wait, so he's gone. You just need one. Beautiful counter right here. Great right, right, right hand. So a very small cut it is, but a cut all the same over the left eye of Justice Uni who comes out throwing. Lots of swelling around the left eye of Goodall as well. Lots of swelling. Yeah, that's on that overhead right, Ben. They just missed with it again. Justice Hooney. Oh, big right hand from Hooney. And that's what he'll look for now with the swelling increasing and very noticeable over that eye of Goodall. He shoves him off there. And he looks for the shot, there's Hooney, and Goodall hangs on, toughs it out and tries to work with his right hand. Yeah, he's not much behind those punches anymore, Ben. Working on the inside against the ropes. Combination punching for Hooney. Right hand over the top. Goodall needs to throw from here. You see those combos from Bannerweights, Featherweights. Yeah. Great hands for you. Right hand to Beauty. Just set it up with his jab and then through that big right hand again and that eye of Goodall continues to close. The body shot with the left hand from Hooney. His punch from earlier in the fight. He set the foundations with it. He just brought it back for a moment. Now Goodall goes to work. Oh, uppercuts from Hooney. Body. Oh, left, left hook just missed. Oh. Get done, guys. Get your head out of it, guys. Both tie up. And on the chase and gets one through. Ready to the body. Goodall to the body. And we're seeing the toughness of Joe Goodall here because he's taken a lot of shots and he's still pressing forward. He's still, he's still trying to find the shot that he needs. He switches now for a moment, this Goodall. He throws that left hand. Ten seconds to go. Working right hand, left hand. Both of them get through. Booney finishes with a left hand and Goodall takes some confidence from a shot that finished the rounds. Great action between the heavyweights. He's strong that round. Stephen Edwards gets to work on the eye. Joe, listen to me. Listen. When you're doing nothing else, oh, I'm blind around here. Put something out there. Stop him. Yep. Okay? Get him to move his head down. Please let your right hand go. Okay? I've been asking you to, work, to be first to work off that jab. Work you off your jab, that. put your blind out right there. When he drops his head down, you turn it over. It's there for you, the right hand. You've got to throw it, mate. Yep. Okay? Yep. We're gonna get it. Okay, we're getting behind on points. Yep. You gotta wait, okay. Joe. This is when the fucking dog comes out. You yep. work too fucking hard. Let's wake up and fucking go, alright? This is the trick. Those powerful right hands from Justice Hooney are doing the damage to the eye. And the good old corner have asked for the dog to come out. Right! Step 
Hands down for Justice Hooney now. Nice and lead hook there by Guru. But Justice has got a great eye. Stands at a distance with his hands down, just knowing that he can see those punches coming, make the miss, and he makes you pay. Here it comes, here it was. And again from Justice Hooney, quality stuff. Doubles up that left hand to Sooney, but misses. Little weights again. Right hand from Hooney. Little needs to go now. And he tries. And he needs to go again. Yeah, exactly right. You see that he's waiting. He's getting hit every time. When he waits, he's got to be first. He's got to go now. Yeah. He spots does Joe Goodall, but instead he waits and Justice throws the shots and moves. Oh, big shot from Hooney. And he's got to go with one two. Every time he jabs, he gets, he gets hit with one two. He's got to throw more than one punch. One punch not enough. The jab's just not enough. He's got to sit down and throw the right hand behind the jab. Jab the body, the right hand over the top, and straight one two. Watch him when he jabs. What happens to him? There you go. What's your time with that slow jab? Now a shot from Hooney. Goodall takes another body shot. He needs to go yeah. again, but he takes one. And Hooney growing in confidence here in round seven. Yeah, that's two punches. They landed. It wasn't a jab. It wasn't a jab where he walks through and gets hit and gets counted. Right. So far, a supreme boxing performance from Justice Hooney, who is showing all the skills. Good stuff there from Goodall. Yeah, he's, punch, he's got to punch in bunches. One punch is not enough. Double jab right hand. That's the sort of stuff that he needs. There's Goodall. And now they're in tight and he can work from here. And he works to the body. And over the top two. And then he comes back. The good round rules. Yeah, good old lean four. And what's who did he say? Lean six. High quality, high stakes, heavyweight boxing. Easy work, mate. No, that's easy. Easy work, mate. Playing. Playing with him. He's just too sharp. Too sharp. Okay? Forget about the knock here. Close to a good if it's there, mate, take it. If it's there, take it, mate. He's trying to reach. Let him overreach, mate, then boom. You catch us all timing, mate, all right? Boxer, boxer. Boxer, man, your quick shot will open up. Boxer, if he's struggling, not a bad amount of punches there for a I just want you to turn him. Amazing stuff, really. And the body shots have been the difference for Hooney. What round are we up to? Highlights of the previous, and Joe Goodall, well, he had his moments, but he's just in there with someone pretty special. Something very special, I mean, he's got amazing hands, but an amazing eye. And if you fall short, he'll counterpunch you every time. And if you hit him, he hits you back. Oh, beautiful jab from Justice Hooney. Nice counter hook there. Oh, good one. Straight on that eye again. Straight on that eye. Such accuracy from Hooney. He's just produced that right hand time and time again to that same spot. Oh! Big left hook from Justice Hooney. Just sat him on his heels. Goodall. Right hand from Goodall. Better stuff from him. And he jabs and he jabs again, but there's that right hand from Hooney and over the top of the hook. The left hook's come out from Hooney and he leads with his right hand as well. Right! Well, that's world class. It's beautiful work. Oh, 
Oh, and he sees them. He sees them coming and he moves. So evasive. Hands are down. Look at this. Justice Heaney. He's starting to turn this into a clinic. Masterclass. Joe Goodall. Oh, nice right hand. That's a beautiful right hand, but Hooney just wears it and comes back. Body shots from Hooney. He's found a left hook in this round. And it's looked good. Right! Sit back. Sit back. Get your head out of it. Go. Get your head out of it. Good shots from Goodall, but countering again was Hooney with a bunch. And he stays now in Southpaw, this Goodall, but that just opens the right hand up for Hooney. Well, it puts that left guy right in front of the right hand. down and countering and there's that hook again big hook it was from Justice Hooney and blood pours now from the head of Hooney from a head clash big head clash late in the round and it opened up a massive wound up in the hairline of Justice Hooney oh it's a it's a massive cut hey, Two rounds, I've been talking to you nice, you've got it. And this is the moment. Oh, where was that head? Here it is. Oh, see the head. Oh. Open him right up, but Rocky Herney's got to work. Seems to have done a very good job as well, and the other cut above the eyes disappeared. So, he's a good healer. He's Hooney. And that is a tired looking Joe Goodall. Yeah, Goodall's got to knock him out. He's got to go all out for this. All out for the knockout. Let's go for it too because he's made of something else, is Joe Goodall. We've already seen that tonight. He's been hit with every punch in the book, but he's still there. He's still pushing forward. He's still giving himself every chance of winning this fight. But he takes another left hook. Right! Let him up, let him up. Counter shot from Hooney. Goodall tries to work. And on the inside, it's Hooney. Working from here, too, is Goodall. Incredibly, that big cut in the hairline is not bleeding at the moment. But yeah, it's crazy. It will be opened up again soon, you would have to think. But Goodall goes to the body well. Some good body work here by Goodall. Right. Right. Get out of it. Look at Joe Goodall, he just wants to, wants to keep going. He wants to get straight back in there with him. But he takes some big shots. Oh, just missed a massive left hook there by Justice Hooney. has become his punch late in this fight. Oh, big rip to the body. There's blood from Goodall as well now. Here comes that blood from the top of the head. And there, blood man. from the top of the head. There we go. Had to happen eventually. It'll be everywhere shortly. Including in the eye of Justice Ernie. Oh, right, right hand. Joe Goodall. Nice one with that big right hand. And does this give him his chance? With blood everywhere in this ring. Left hook, right hand from Justice Ernie. Urgency increases. And he sits down, he goes to the body. Goodall's left eye just about closed. And Hooney's left eye filled with blood. And Hooney complaining about the head there. The little use of the head. Beautiful right here by Hooney. Goodall needs to take his chance. 
Right hand it is from Hooney. Body shot from Hooney. Goodall trying to find his moment. Uppercut. Chasing with the right hand is Justice Hooney. Blood now forcing back down the face. The timing, the precision of his punches in round nine, just as soon as he this. He turns that left hook around as well. Right hand he leads with. Amazing athlete. That's what he is. He's an athlete. He is supreme. He's Hooney. And as they get back to work on the damage all over him. Have you seen enough of the skills of Justice Hooney to think that he can overcome the lack of power and go to the very top level of the sport? Yeah, well, he's, again, it depends who he fights. Um, I'm looking at, at, at Joseph, oh, all the print right. in the world. He's going to start. But I um, would have loved to see him throw one twos instead of the jab all the time, rather than with the jab. I'd love to see him just throw the right hand leads with power. But, yeah, look, what can you say about Justice? Uh, yeah on this performance, he can beat anybody. Hasn't been hurt at all. Throwing an enormous amount of punches for a big man. Still with the same speed, still with the same power as he did in round one. It comes down to this, and Joseph Goodall needs a knockout. Hooney has shown he is absolutely world class. That's what he had to do. Rip from Hooney. Right hand from Goodall as well. Good shot from Joe Goodall. Got through with his right hand. Now he's trying to rough things up. And this is what we expected early in the fight, but it comes out now with desperation from Goodall. Well, he knows he's two and a half minutes to go and he has to give it his all. Oh, left hook there is open there. Right hand oh. from Goodall. Counter shot from Hooney. They tangle again. Two minutes left in this fight. We've seen two absolute warriors through the course of this one. A brilliant heavyweight contest. Amazing heavyweight contest. Taking it off to both boys. To both teams for preparation. Great right hand from Goodall, but Hooney it was who came back with two. Right hand again from Goodall. Yes. He is reaching deep inside himself, is Joe Goodall. Trying to find a punch from the gods. Big right hand of the body from Hooney. Goodall works hard. Wow, what a great effort by Goodall this last round. He knows he needs a knockout, and he's going for it. Throws out that left hand. Now he tries to get clear, and he'll throw big right hands if he can inside the final minute of this fight. Oh, big right hand just missed. They try and work in this corner. Late in this fight. They've given absolutely everything. Tooney and Goodall. Great! Step back. And we have 30 seconds left in the fight that will take one of these men into the world rankings and on to bigger and better and more exciting things. And fittingly, they're going to leave it all in the ring. What a heavyweight contest this is. Shots. Goodall still punching. Somehow these two finish this fight on their feet. An outstanding heavyweight battle between an absolute animal in Joseph Goodall and a truly world-class heavyweight in Justice Hooney.
who is destined for something very special. Say that again. He's uh, he's boxing skill today. His fitness again. If, if you say one thing, yeah, we, here we go. He's landing a, a couple of hundred punches as a heavyweight and couldn't drop somebody. But so look, that's the only little negative that I can see. But his boxing skills are far superior to any heavyweight that I've seen for a long, long time. He's landed 194 punches in total over the course of 10 rounds as Justice Ernie. Not many heavyweights are producing that sort of output. There's no heavyweights producing that. That is quite incredible. And Joe Goodall has landed 144 punches through the course of this. We just saw two heavyweights fight like super middleweights and produce a memorable, brilliant fight. And this was the end of 10 rounds of pure brutality. Two men who had already dug as deep as they could go, just went a little bit further. That's great to see these two guys that in this great fight congratulate each other because they both deserve congratulations. And here's the highlights of the entire 10 rounds. And well, there was plenty there, Jeff Bennett. Oh, definitely so. And there were many more for Justice Hooney. Oh, that's a, a lovely, a beautiful uppercut. Both clearly came with a plan. You can tell that early on, Justice thought the body assault was what was going to win him the fight. And Joe Goodall, well, he needed big right hands, but he just couldn't find them because the counter-punching and the defence and the eye of Hooney is supreme. And also, Ben, I, I, I want to say it again, that he's just overstepping with his jab, so it didn't leave him position to land the right hand. Or not with power, anyway. He's impressed plenty as Joseph Goodall. What a warrior he has proved himself to be. To go 10 rounds of that. Amazing. And he got hit with some big body shots. But Hooney, he'll get this decision and he'll march on. He has all the skill in the world. The full kit of punches, all the movement. Well, the fight I watched, he won 10 rounds. He won every round. I mean, I mean you, you, there was a couple of close rounds, but I didn't see him lose one. Well, let's find out. Here is Stephen Payos. Ladies and gentlemen, time for the official decision. One more round of applause, please, for both of our heavyweights putting on a magnificent contest here at the Nissan Arena in Brisbane, Queensland. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of heavyweight boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Phil Austin scores the contest 100 to 90. Judge Adam Height scores the contest 98, 92. Judge Chris Condon scores the contest 98, 93. All three judges score the bout in favor of your winner. It is a unanimous points decision and goes in favour of your new WBC Australasia WBO Oriental OPBA 